At this time, I want to invite all of the children of the church to come forward and join me up here for a word of blessing. How many of you are getting excited for Halloween? Yeah, me too. Yeah, Chris, everybody, I'm excited. What's your favorite part of Halloween? Yeah? Dressing up. Good for you, absolutely. Because I know that none of you, your favorite part of Halloween would be candy. Yeah, that's my favorite part. Uh, my, yeah. my two favorite parts mm-hmm. are seeing the other costumes and getting the candy. Yes, seeing other costumes and getting candy. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I love things that are Halloween-y, too. I think one of my favorite parts of Halloween is when you kind of go door-to-door and you get to meet the people in your neighborhood. And one of the reasons I think that we have Halloween is to remind us to be gracious and giving with our neighbors, right? When you go and you say, trick-or-treat, do you have to, like, pay money for the candy that people give you? No, because that, be, that, would, that would be super lame. Uh, but no, you get free candy, And it's a nice reminder to be generous and to give. Do any of you, when you go trick-or-treating, do you kind of help, like if you have like a little kid with you and they don't really get much candy, you give them some stuff at the end to make sure. Do any of you have like a a grown-up in your life who maybe takes a little bit of your candy when you get home? (laughs) Yep, a little dad tax. Yeah, that happens sometimes too. That's sort of how you can be generous towards grown-ups who maybe don't get to go trick-or-treating anymore, even if we would want to. Um, I think that the re- one of the reasons that we have Halloween in the first place is to just remind us to, to be generous and giving and give gifts to strangers and especially people in our neighborhood who maybe we don't know. Um, it's interesting to me that the Bible so often reminds us to be generous and of good heart and to greet strangers and then we kind of wait until this one day comes around and then we go and we get to actually meet our neighbors right? I think it's important to know the people who live in our neighborhoods. I think my blessing or our blessing this week would be that we are generous towards strangers. And then that'll help like prime the pump for Halloween because we're about to go out there and score some free candy. uh, And we want people to be generous toward us too, right? Anyway, that's how things work in the economy of love that's in my head. So let's go ahead and have a blessing of generosity this week. We can raise a hand. And blessing. And then you can repeat after me this week. We will be generous towards those we meet. Amen. All right, how are we going to go? So. Can you walk like a ghost out of the sanctuary? Like a spooky but safe ghost? Um, yes. Excellent. Ha <laughs> ha.